In my last video, I covered plumbing up and getting you rigged the right depth to suit the peg that you're fishing. Now it's time to get fishing. First, it's very important that you set your landing net up before you start. I mentioned how important these are for fish welfare, but also if you're lucky enough to hook that fish of a lifetime on your first cast, you want to be able to land it. So simply screw the quarter inch thread into the end of the landing net handle. This one here is telescopic, so it's just a case of pulling it nice and tight so it's locked in place. Others are put over, so you just take the sections out the bottom and put them together. But that's now ready, just in case I start fishing. I mentioned bringing two baits with me today, one pellets and one maggots. And the beauty of doing that is one's very selective, i.e. the pellets, you'll only catch some bigger carp and F1s on pellets. Maggots catches everything that swims. So I'm gonna start the session by fishing maggots, and then that gives me the option if things are going really well and I'm catching a lot of small fish, I can switch to pellets and catch some better fish later. But I'd always rather be getting a few bites and be able to make that decision. So maggots it is, we'll start with. I'm gonna start by fishing two single red maggots and I'm just hooking them through the blunt end and crucially, making sure that they riddle. You want both maggots on your hook to be moving. You'll attract a lot more bites than if you've got a dead maggot on there. Onto the cast. All you do is remove the bail arm on the reel, put your finger on the spool to stop the, reel, the line from coming off the spool, and then it's a simple case of lifting the rod when we're only fishing relatively close as we are today, lifting the rod and letting the bulk of the shot and the float fly out in front of you. I then give it one quick turn of the reel sink the line and the float set and fishing. So I've cast out and now it's just a case of introducing a few maggots around the float. Now there's an old adage in match fishing that you can put bait in but you can't take it out. So I never like to feed too much, it's more a case of gradually building the swim, finding out what's in front of me and then I can gauge what I do from there to suit conditions on the day and how the fish are feeding. Now, I've just fed some bait there and straight away I've just seen an indication on the float. It's not a positive bite yet but I can see one developing quite quickly. And there we are, that's a bite, I think. Yep, there's a fish on. Feels like a, a small fish. Oh, it's a perch. I just net that. It always pays to, to net fish of all sizes when you're pleasure fishing because there's no advantage to speed and you can just make sure you get your fish out and in the net. There we are, nice, nice looking perch. Get him back. One thing I mentioned was obviously taking your bail arm off when you cast and problem is I've been fishing that long a lot of it just comes natural to me but it's very important to say when you're fishing and you're in make sure you put your bail arm back on because obviously if you don't when you strike you'll find you pull just a load of line off the spool and oh there's another bite straight away a perch this time perch are lovely greedy fish my first fish was a perch and I think uh, there's a lot of people very similar to me you can see a lovely of these stripy fish. Predators they are, they eat everything. Scavengers, predators, whatever it is, they eat it. It really is lovely fishing at Lindo. And that's a nice thing about this approach I've shown you today. You know, you're fishing with maggots, you're fishing quite light. I mentioned the importance of the balanced, light lines, small hooks. Get some bites, put some fish in the net. But as I said, the nice thing is, if on this tackle we did or encounter a bigger fish and hopefully soon we will encounter a, a good sized F1 or carp then we would have a great chance of landing it because the tackle's balanced so all we need to do is take our time and make sure the fish ends up in the net. You'll notice that when the float goes under what I do is I, I lift the rod quite gently to set the hook and that's a key point to stress a very common mistake I see a lot of beginners making is striking far too hard which not only leads so you're often pulling the bait straight out of the fish's mouth, sometimes even ripping a chunk of fish lip out with it, but it often also ends up with your rig tangled, your hook tangled, everything else. So it's important, just remember, you don't need to strike like Zorro. A nice, gentle raise of the rod to set the hook, that's all it takes, just like this. 